Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-3900. Item Number, SCP-3900 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, Recovered SCP-3900 Infected Hardware is to be destroyed prior to the next occurrence of a full moon. In the case that SCP-3900 is activated in an uncontrolled setting, care must be taken to ensure that no wolves escape. One wireless router infected with SCP-3900 is to be stored in a secure containment locker. All testing must be conducted within a Faraday cage enclosure to prevent unintended infection. The presence of an animal handler is required for testing. Description SCP-3900 is an anomalous, contagious property of wireless access points. SCP-3900 is spread between devices in proximity when both are turned on. This effect is correlated with the overlapping of Wi-Fi signals between the two, and can be prevented through sufficient shielding. Infection requires an average of three days of uninterrupted contact between the two devices. As such, spread of SCP-3900 is limited in uncontrolled settings, although particularly connected spaces do pose a risk of epidemic. SCP-3900 becomes active when the infected device is enabled and a full moon is present above the horizon. At this point, a number of timber wolves will appear in the area currently covered by the wireless access point, which then ceases to transmit a signal. Wolf density is typically very high, at approximately one wolf per square meter. Wolves usually display signs of distress or confusion, but are docile. Wolves created through SCP-3900 do not exhibit wireless connectivity and are otherwise non-anomalous. When the full moon is no longer above the horizon, or SCP-3900 is turned off, all wolves in the area, excepting wolves not related to SCP-3900, will disappear. It is currently unclear whether the wolves in subsequent SCP-3900 activations are the same, or if a new population is generated each time. Addendum During a test on April 22, 2016, junior researcher Beckett was superficially bitten by a wolf produced by SCP-3900. On the full moon of May 21, 2016, wireless interference was detected around Beckett, and she was found to be uniformly emitting radio waves in a similar frequency to those of wireless access points. This effect ceased when the moon set. Beckett was contained and subsequently instructed to superficially bite D7649. On the full moon of June 20, 2016, D7649 began to produce wolves in his vicinity. Just as with SCP-3900, these wolves vanished upon the end of the full moon. D7649 was instructed to superficially bite a restrained non-anomalous wolf. On the full moon of July 19, 2016, the wolf's enclosure began to fill with hundreds of wireless routers of varying make and model. All routers disappeared when the moon set. Further testing has been discontinued. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations. More